I should start off first with this review by saying I've got the name of this restaurant completely wrong. It's not Kami, as I talk about it. It's Okami. So, here's the review of Okami. Yeah, g'day. We are today at the uh, the Kami restaurant. Okami. Uh, here in Silverwater. Uh, apparently there's a few of these around. I don't know too much about this. So this is a bit of um, suck it and see. Apparently it's an all you can eat thing. What's really interesting about this place, it's kind of just like in the middle of suburbia. You go to this crossroad here in Silverwater and it's just houses, 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 houses. Kami, Kami. Oh, Kami. Houses, houses, houses. Now, one thing I would suggest is that when you go to a restaurant, not just this one, don't give the menu to a five-year-old. They can't read. It takes ages. Here's the food. I'm not going to describe it. You can see it. There's all the old Japanese classics. And across the menu, there's wagyu beef, there's seafood. They really have such a wide range of food. And everyone in our family loved it. Um, there's a thing that looks like a fish. And also kids' meals too. You know, those udon can't go wrong. Plus, there's little ice cream uh, in a tub. Awesome. So there you have it. We've uh, just finished the all-you-can-eat buffet, and we're rolling out of there. We're all very full. The food quality, I'd say, was uh, pretty good. And when you think of the value, it was actually very good as well. Like two people can do a meal for 80 bucks plus drinks. That's not bad in Sydney these days. I'll allow it. So yeah, there you go, Kami. Oh, Kami. Here in Silverwater and other spots around the country.